Brought to you by Express Care Health and Skin Center. Get in, get out, get better. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we are getting the ABCs of vitamins and learning about their importance. Dr. Yit Kalam is with us now, and she's going to take some of our viewer questions. Vance from Jigo asks, I only eat egg whites. Is it true that this can deprive my body of biotin and result in scaly dermatitis? That's an amazing question. Um, okay, so biotin is vitamin B7, and it's found often in, one of the places it's found is found in egg yolks. So people that only eat egg whites are missing out on their biotin, but they can get it from other sources. If they're eating raw egg whites, then there's something in the raw egg, egg white that does not allow you to absorb or invalidates the, the biotin that you're getting for other sources, from other sources. So if you're eating just raw egg whites without egg yolks and maybe an unusual diet of some sort, then yes, you could end up with a deficiency of vitamin B7 and then you get weird rashes and um, itchy skin. So better you either cook your egg whites or eat some yolk in with it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Leslie from Agania Heights asks, can smoking and alcohol consumption lead to a calcium deficiency? Yes, they can. Both of those um, decrease uh, um, the absorption of calcium into your body, into your bloodstream, and they also re um, increase bone turnover. So if you're drinking alcohol and smoking, your bones will turn over more, you'll lose more calcium. Um, so both of those are best to be avoided. Okay, and we touched on this right before the break. Cheryl from Dedido asks, is vitamin C just in citrus foods? And you were mentioning um, papaya? Yeah, papaya gives you a huge amount of vitamin C, strawberries, broccoli, um, the bell peppers, both red and green, are great sources of vitamin C. Most of the fruits and vegetables will give you some vitamin C. And one of the interesting things, though, is that when food is shipped, it's picked, you know, a week or two before we actually eat it. And a lot of the vitamin C is actually lost during transport, between 20 and 50 percent. Like if you take a broccoli and you wait a week before you eat it, you've lost over 25 percent of the amount of vitamin wow. C there. So fresh, fresh, fresh fruits and vegetables are the most important thing you can do. That's why being on Guam is probably a good idea to take a supplement. Okay, and the, um, I'll get to the supplement in just a second, but Marty from Jonia asks, I have bad eyesight. Will taking vitamin A daily help correct my vision or is it too late? It depends. There are so many reasons why you might have bad eyesight, especially at nighttime. The most common reason is you're actually nearsighted and you can't see you know, in the distance. But um, if you did have a vitamin A deficiency, then you can see an eye doctor and they can detect that and it is a reversible uh, problem. So it's worth checking into if you have night, night blindness. Okay, so I just wanted to ask you now, away from our viewer questions, is a multivitamin sufficient? I mean, we, I read all these vitamins and I think, oh my goodness, taking one of these a day, yeah. you, would ha you would fill your whole kitchen table. It's true. So is a multivitamin sufficient? I think for most people, this is the national guideline. Take a multivitamin, which has everything in it, including your B vitamin A, B, C, and all of that. That's enough. Then take along with that some calcium, magnesium, and vitamin D, because we, we do need vitamin D. We might talk about that on another show. Um, so if you take those and then take some fish oil, those three things are probably going to be just fine for you, unless you have some special needs uh, of some kind. Of course, you know, when you go to the vitamin store, they're all wonderful people and they do do a lot of good in helping us stay healthy. But many of those supplements have all kinds of additional herbs in them, which can interfere with the medicines that you're taking or with anesthesia if you're having surgery. So you have to be careful about all the other additives in there with vitamins. Okay, so a daily multivitamin should yeah. be sufficient, calcium, magnesium, and fish Oil. Fish oil, yeah. All right, good words to remember. Thanks so much, Doc, for all that insight. Dr. Lam will be back again in studio next week, and we are talking about marks of motherhood, stretch marks, and more just in time for Mother's Day. If you have a question, send it to healthyliving at kuam.com, or you can post it on the KUAM News Facebook page. Stay tuned. Healthy Living returns right after this.